Y'all don't talk about shit. I don't even know what that means. This nigga CP, you said a single letter. I, I don't even know. So you know, it goes it goes in alphabetical order. So like uh, through the Greek alphabet, and so uh, then when you get all the way down to Omega at the end, um, then you go you back. Alpha, 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 Beta, right. Alpha, Gamma, Alpha, exactly. Delta. So it just doubles up. Gotcha. Okay. So, so the like the first is- twenty. Yeah, like like that first twenty some chapters are all single letter, and they're you know every organization they kind of like herald their single letter chapters. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, so like to hear if you were in a in an organization, it would be brisket, brisket. Yeah, I knew it was coming. Saw that shit from a block away, man. Shut up. <laughs> I know. He knows yeah, about to say yeah, something. Yeah, brisket, brisket. Like, yeah, he gonna see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with them shades to hear them much bitches kind of hard, my G? I'm trying to see if I like them, bro. It was an impulse buy at the airport. And I went oh, the other pair. Bro, I they like, get, I buy so many sunglasses at the airport, and it'd be like, ooh. You know, you know what I'm saying? You get in the car, like, what the hell was I doing? What the fuck was I? Because I wanted these these other Carrera shades, but they didn't have the color I wanted. And I went to, like, four stores. And so I was killing some time. In Atlanta, because they'll get you in Atlanta. Atlanta might as well be a mall with some planes coming in and out. Yeah, I, I checked another store and they had these. I was like, "Oh, these motherfuckers kind of fly." And I don't know. I feel like the the mirror looked different because every mirror I looked in after that, I I have not liked them. And I'm like, man. Have you seen those uh those sunglasses that Boosie been wearing lately on his no. interviews? I I kind of I kind of been looking for something like that. I'm kind of mad. He kind of got it first but uh i've been looking for something with like a a flat more flatter face plastic you know what i'm saying but i'm just honestly bro i'm dancing around i i, I need to go, go ahead and give me some buffs man I bro i gotta buffs. listen i ain't got no buffs bro but i, I found what is a buff i i, I found this one little joint online i bought like oh. four oh. four pair of glasses from him so far and he makes so many different styles. And he had this one style, like buffs. And these motherfuckers are so fly to me, bro. See, I'm going to tell you, those are like Cardi's, right? It's like Those are like Cartier, Cartier glasses. Okay, you look so like you about to lie to a woman with them glasses. Oh, Baby okay. girl, man, come on now. I would right. never have somebody as beautiful as you. Baby girl. Didn't the nigga at the end of uh, Queen and Slim rock those joints? Uh, oh, the dude that was in the and fold on them? Yeah, Every really nigga that lied got uh, what it says baby girl got them glasses. He was spot on. Lion face. <laughs> Man, who hurt you and let it go? You know what I'm saying? Like, every, she, she, she be a lion listening to a nigga order. Oh, yeah, lying ass niggas get cheeseburgers. Yeah, mm-hmm. lying ass niggas get every, the whole meal. Every Ooh. relationship that didn't work out with Meg is because he stressed the shoulders out of his hoodies. That nigga got pissed the fuck off. Look at the forehead in my hoodie. Look at the forehead in my hoodie. What I'm gonna do? Why my shit look like a blanket now? What the fuck did you put two people in here? That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. To be fair, brisket, brisket was funny too. I feel it was, and didn't nobody laugh. And I'm mad at y'all. That was funny. It was absolutely funny. Man, we saw it coming. We knew what you were doing. Brisket by brisket, then. That would have been funny. That would have been funnier. But I saw brisket, brisket coming two blocks down the street. Your doors was open, windows was down. We was talking too much shit with that. I knew it. CP was giving me a real explanation on it. And he was like, and see you to hear if you. And I was like, all right, what is going to be? Kentucky Fried Chicken, Kentucky Fried Chicken. What were we doing? Uh, oh, CP, explain the difference between Buff and Cardi. Because I thought I thought Buffs was like oh, the buffs. Of all of the glasses oh. that fell under. No, 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 no. Buffs are actual buffalo tusk Cartiers, right? Oh. And so they like they have like the white sticks. It can be gray. Some of them get a little dark, but they come from an actual buffalo tusk, and they cost they they're gonna start out about twenty five hundred for these, mm-hmm. right? In Detroit, we all wear the Cardis, different style of Cardis, but the buffalo are like the top, and so oh. we call those buffs. Gotcha. And so what happens is. People from other places just started calling all the Cardi's buffs and yep. all is and so for for people in Detroit who know it'd be like ah that's not buffs buffs are short for Buffalo Tusk Cartier and it's like you know all white buffies make the girls 
really love me. That's what they. So what are Patrick's called? Glasses. <laughs> Patrick. Has My glasses. glasses? Yes, they're called glasses. These are the these are the. You just gave the history of Detroit and glasses and shit, and then you came in with your your joints. So no, these are designer. These are Amazons. Muslims. Amazons. The the, the, would you call them Muslims? Amazons. Amazon. Amazon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, I was like, dude. Hey, but they blue blockers though. (laughs) Amazons. Got it. Got it. Kind of crooked. How was y'all weekend? How's everybody weekend? Uh, uh, Feeling great. I played kickball. Ooh, Ooh, nice. How was that? Yeah, it was some uh, comedians. They that shit was wild, man. It's wild. It's wild to how sore you get just in fifteen minutes of 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 activity. Now, damn, Mm -hmm. man. What's wild is when you're at. Well, not at bat. I'm gonna say when you're at kick, <laughs> and how hard you want to kick that damn ball. It's like it's like, man, I would like to kick this bitch to space if I could, but the timing of these rows got it. Like, if you kick a strike, if you miss that kick, holy shit! Like your whole the sound, the you sound when you out. get a good one is like, ooh, oh, it's like boom, boom, <laughs> boom, <laughs> <and> that bitch, <laughs> kaboom. But like, when yeah, you I want to play that. Boy, oh man, you must well be doing a Michael Jackson dance move. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought kickball was better than dodgeball. I I don't know why yeah, dodgeball like blew up. Dodgeball seems like it's a more popular sport, but I always thought kickball made what? more sense. No, there's kickball leagues in Atlanta. I used to be in one. It was so lit. Okay, the games on Saturdays, on Sundays would be like, there's a DJ out there. Is people barbecuing? It's like, were you clean up, Meg? Were you were you clean up? They had bases loaded. Like, all right, throw uh, put Meg in. Oh, I thought no. you meant like the janitorial. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. they'd be like, no. I was always at the end of the lineup. They was like, we probably not gonna get to you. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like in Atlanta, a DJ shows up to anything. Like, yeah, it'd right. be a little abortion clinic. It'd be a little. Puka, 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 puka. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. bow, 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 single bow, ladies, bow. single ladies. <laughs> Oh, if you oh, ain't if you ain't oh. got no kids, put your hand. Wait, 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 wait. Now, if you ain't got no kids, oh man! If you just get your kid, put your hands up. If you just get your kid, single beep, ladies beep, beep, is beep. wild. That's I top shelf wild business. Anything has a. DJ we playing all the plan B sides tonight, man. man <laughs> don't do it, man. You you got to be strong. You cannot break under this misogynistic pressure. <laughs> It's terrible. It's I don't even know why I keep showing to up to this. Every I can say, see a DJ at like a furniture store. Fuck it, like you know. See if you're here to get a chair. Oh, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like anything y'all do, you know what I'm saying? Like it'd be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Jesus Christ, y'all thought the funerals in New Orleans was hype. Oh, oh. <laughs> if you can't put your hands up. <laughs> Oh, CP, how was your uh how was your special? <laughs> it was a- amazing. I'm gonna tell you. I've been telling all my friends that this is the best way that I could describe it. As a comedian, especially if you're a good comedian, you know, you come off stage and you always are concerned about, dang, I should have said this mm-hmm. or I should have said that or I ran out of time and I, and I, and I wish I could have connected this with this because this is the real Bro, I said everything I nice. needed to say. I said everything I ever wanted to say. Uh, I said it the way I wanted to say it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, my tongue wasn't too fat. Sometimes I fucking get to bite my tongue. And, you know, it was just like, it's just, yeah, it yes. was, it That's was, uh, it was, it was, it was great, man. I, I'm so excited for everybody to see it. Not even because, I mean, everybody who's, who was there, I'm not even gonna lie, my agent was like, and not even because he's my agent. He was like, yo, that might be one of the funniest hours I think I've I've seen in a long time. Oh, yeah. But I'm just proud I'm of so, it, bro. I'm, I'm just, so I'm sad just I missed really it. it. I'm really you, proud. Um, did you film two times or you just got it all in one take? I filmed twice. So it's crazy. Okay, cool. I, the, the first time they were like, oh, we got it. We got it. And I'm mm-hmm. like, cool. But I want to do it. Like, I did like an extra 45 minutes in my second hour of material that was not in my first hour. Oh, shit. 
So they were like, we got it. I'm like, nah, nigga, y'all ain't finna have it that easy on editing. Watch this. And so then <laughs> it went back and did more. What happened was um, if you came to the first show and you think you saw the special, you didn't. And if you came to the second show and you think you saw the special, you didn't. Like, what you're going to see when it's all done is, uh, like, just a merge of the two. Um, okay. It's just, I'm I'm over the moon, excited okay. about what happened. Wait, right. are you going to drop shop it? it? Are you going to shop it around? Yeah, so, like, uh, you know, it's no secret. My show, uh, I had uh, my father's son, about, about, about me and my dad, was at HBO Max. But HBO Max is not HBO Max anymore. Max. And, and a lot of the executives over there are gone. And a lot of the shows got the kaput. And if you weren't already on the air, it was so hard to justify being there if you weren't already getting them numbers. Like if somebody came in and bought it. They didn't give a fuck about who was what. So a lot of the executives got fired and my show did not get picked up. A part of my show getting picked up, though, was to do a special that was going to help garner attention to not only me, but my brand of comedy so that we can drop the spe- drop the show after the special. It'd be like, oh, that's the guy who did the special. And then he yeah, has the show. It's a great deal. Right. But uh, well, that was a plan. The deal was for the show. The plan was for the special. And it's like two different departments, right? So you have the scripted department, scripted comedy, and then, you know, stand-up is like in the whole non-scripted, a whole, so they were all coming together to do this. When these guys got fired, everything broke up, but the production company that they were had me talking to, 800 pound gorilla, shout out to them. They kept the conversation going. They were like, man, we, we, you know, they're done, but if you want to do it, we can do it. And they walked me down about how to do it independently with all the bells and whistles that every streaming network would take, because that's the deal to all the comedians out there. You're, you can have the funniest special, but if it's not up to the specs that that network has to run, it got to be in 4K. It has to be in certain, you know, if it's not up to the specs, that they can't fuck with it because it's not going to look right on their network. Mm. So getting with the company that does the stuff for them uh, and was able to get all the specs, we, we shot it independently, and then now we get to go sell it and be in the pilot seat of getting all the money instead of them giving me the money and me going to film it out of that money. Right. Now it's like, it's done. Just give me the money. You know what How I'm many saying? Cameras you did you have? License it. You said what? How many cameras did you uh, record with? Uh, I believe it was four. It was four. So that I had a setup of three and then they had a, a, a like a setup for audience stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, they did like interviews with audience members coming in and out. Like, what do you think? Who you here for? It was dope. That's and then, um, yeah, so I mean, you know, honestly though, if all else fails, I would love to put to put it on YouTube. Honestly, mm-hmm. if if just because you know, I put like a little thirteen minute special up that I did like five years ago on my YouTube. Mm-hmm. It did like a hundred and twenty thousand views in like nice. six days, and I was like, damn, like and people were like, man, you're getting so good, I'm like, nigga. That was six years ago, but I'm looking at it like, wait a minute. If I did that, imagine mm-hmm. how much more popular and, you know, just how many hands and eyes it could get into uh, immediately. Insane. Yeah. That's like the insane promotion. Like, that's yeah. for exactly. That's, exactly. Uh, I'll leave you. You'll I'll still make money, money, too. It's, it's, exactly. It, it's, yeah. His second special is already at a million. Ali Sadiq, bro, losses. Mm-hmm. Man, bro, I mean, and it was just. It was so good, man. I'm such a a student of the craft. I haven't seen a comedy special as good as Ali's for what it was in a long time. And so, yeah, um, he yeah got man, two winners, I'm, two winners on his hand, bro. But I'm trying to give Ali a run for his money. My yeah. thing is, I think that Dave Chappelle is winning these Emmys because there's nobody in the lane, and I would love to put a special in the lane and be like something new. Mm-hmm. And everybody can be excited about like how we were with Kendrick or how we were with you know it's like sometimes we forget that it's like bro it's new people and it's we it's don't stupid. do it's so many yeah. dope people out here man exactly That's and true. it's crazy to think that you know it's like this is a lane where you could potentially win a Grammy you know I, you don't think about that like it, you yeah. can get best comedy album like that's that's something that that blew my mind because I always thought like, Oh, there's no Grammy's not even, I'm not, a, I'm not a music person. You know what I mean? But you, I put together something that's so cold 
on the comedy tip, it's like then you actually can be in that conversation, yeah. Well, and that's another thing. So like uh eight hundred pound gorilla, they handle the distribution too. So I'm gonna drop an album. It's gonna be an album. That's probably the easiest part is the album side. You can it. break that up from the special, like pull the well, album no, no. out of it. I would literally just the special would be like um it it'll have chapters anyway, even if it is like the video. But yeah, like you can break that down into an album, mm -hmm. uh format wise. And it could be up for consideration. That's why it was important for me to name it oh. an abstract name, Sunday after six, have a meaning behind what I wanted it to mean. It's just like, it has all the elements. You know, I, I look at people like Chance the Rapper and it's like, dog, you can be that for, mm -hmm. you know, you could be La Russell for your comedy. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, man, shout out to Dave Chappelle and Magic Lemonade and everybody over there, Stan Lathan and all of that. But niggas is coming. Niggas is coming. <laughs> You know what so I'm saying? Excited. See, Congratulations, excited. dude. That sounds oh, so dope. Well, listen, I'm this is the perfect to place to, check it out. to jump into our first topic. And that's exactly what we're about to do. But shout out to Brandon Brody for stopping through the special guest. Shout out to the OG squad, CP, Patrick Cloud, Max Cooper, of course, I'm to hear more. We're going to jump right into this first topic right after this. Nah, you finally reached the best part of the show. You know, the part that uh, nobody ever skips. Sponsored by Lucy Nicotine. Lucy's tobacco-free gum, pouches, and breakers are intelligent nicotine options for upstanding, responsible adults like yourself. All Lucy products have three things in common. No tobacco, powerful nicotine, and delicious flavors. Shipping is always free, and there's a 30-day refund policy if you change your mind. Lucy sent me some of that gum, and I've been really enjoying it. I chew gum every single day anyways, so now it's just part of my normal routine. And it's just like normal gum. If normal gum had a nicotine kick, got the four milligram strength with the mint flavor. Got to keep the breath fresh. So if you want to try it, visit lucy.co and use the promo code squad to get 20% off your first order. That's lucy, L-U-C-Y dot C-O, promo code squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to receive 20% off and always free shipping. And here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Would you rather find out that you're adopted versus find out you're the secret family? Adopted. Yeah. I'll, I'll, jump, I'll jump right in this one, because uh, uh, I... I, nigga, my, my sisters didn't know about me. I knew about them. My brothers mm -hmm. found out about me. Like, I'm the second. I'm the, you know, everyone talks about the father that walks out on their family for the pack of cigarettes. No one talks about when he comes and smokes the cigarettes at your mama's house. You understand? Like, I'm the, <laughs> he got the cigarettes and then came and smoked them over my mama's crib. And that's an interesting thing, you know, because I, I saw, I, I remember being at McDonald's and I knew it was my sister. I saw my niece, my nephew, and I grew up only child. Like, you know, I was my mom's only my dad's fifth. I have a big ass family. And I saw them coming into McDonald's and like, it was like, I, I was at a crossroads like, yo, do I, uh, do I, do I blow it all up right now? Or do I just, just keep looking at this menu? No, wait, was, coming, we, my sister was, was your dad with you? My dad was with me. My mom was in the car waiting for us. Oh, that would have been McDonald's. a, my a dad, perfect bargaining chip, nigga. That's how you My get, dad goes you outside. He says, oh, oh, shit, hold on. Let me go outside. I got to go talk to your sister. That's your sister. Nigga, I'm seeing all these little children's and nigglets looking like me. They like fucking light skin, curly hair niggas. Like, I'm like, this is, this is really my family right here. Like, I'm seeing them, dog. That's Wait, did it make you feel some kind of way that you was like, hell yeah, it made me feel some type of way, yo? Because I'm, I'm like, I like I I'm like I'm still still like damn and am am I like I'm still trying to get my dad's order correct you know I'm like at that point I'm like man man fuck 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 getting this nigga Big Mac sauce on his double McDouble you know like first of all to me see what my nephew you, wants. let me see what my niece wants to me casually use Brody. Like, hi, my what? name is Brody, Toady, Cody, Bodie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like it's the like, dwarves, <laughs> bro. It's just oh uh, yeah, no. Nah, All of their like, names rhyme. <laughs> no, nah, they don't. Cody, Cody, Cody. Like what the fuck? Nah, but we got a big. But it's like you know that's it's like I I I, I would rather be 
the secret family, then I think finding out I'm adopted. And I think that reason is because I've been able to, to navigate through that and the love that I've received afterwards. It, it, it's like, I, and I understand now as an adult, I can understand why that happened. You know, it was a lot of my dad's fear of, of, of just of, of the women in, in, in my family, you know? He didn't want to upset them. He told my brothers, my brothers knew about me. My brothers, I met them. I knew about them since I was probably like eight or nine, like my son's age. Wait, and are you the youngest out of all of them? Yeah, I'm the youngest to the point oh, that okay. I I got, <laughs> I'm closer to age to my nieces and nephews <laughs> than I am my own brothers. And, my brothers and sisters are like auntie and uncle. My nephew, <laughs> and he, my nephew's like, yo, listen to this. Check out this new little Uzi Vert banger, yo. <laughs> <laughs> they, they like yo there's some bitches at the club last night like these, these are what i talked to <laughs> yo your niece is a nephew coming at you like uncle bro you gotta go to bed my nigga you gotta <laughs> yo they they, they, yeah, they they asking me if i want if i want a story read to them i'm like yeah that'd be so great nephew john that'd be, that'd be great. <laughs> nephew john <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. First of all, Brody, that's a great story, man. I'm glad it all worked out. You know what I'm saying? You're a great guy. You're a noob. You got a son. You know, you're raising yeah. him. You're a noob. Here's the thing. What's a oh a noob? <laughs> a noob. Yeah, he has yes. a fine noobie shirt on. Here's the thing. Cap outside. Mm -hmm. I would I think I would rather find out that I was adopted because then starts the adventure of number one learning who you are which is dope as hell you get to learn all this new history about yourself right number two stunting on your parents be like shut shut your ass up this this is not even like wait a minute wait wait a minute wait a minute kim and rob you know what i'm saying like <laughs> you know i, I think or I think cp you sounds find, horrible you say what <laughs> I said, or you could find out that you come from a family of frogs and they disowned you because you were not froggy <laughs> enough. Because <laughs> <laughs> she said you weren't froggy enough. No, to hear, I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. She I takes you it. down to the riverbank. This is where we found you. <laughs> this is where the adoption papers were signed. Once again, <laughs> an adventure. Can you imagine meeting a frog? Like mixed family, and we like half nigga, half frog, and we got we're we're funny, and, and you know yeah, what we're saying? taking a trip to New Orleans this weekend. Oh. Why are we going to New Orleans? Why are we? Nigga, she said you weren't frog. We're frog can you imagine? Can you imagine uh, if Meg found her real daddy? He's somewhere just squatting eight hundred pounds. He's like, yeah. So you found me, huh? <laughs> So you found me, huh? All right, well, you know, I guess it wasn't hard to find. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, Wait, man. let's go back to the frogs. Yeah, because oh. that's <laughs> nigga, we killed it. All right, all right. Keep saying frog stuff, guys. He said, like, I knew I loved Budweiser for a reason. I couldn't I couldn't put my finger on it. Brody, I Brody, I let all of the acne impulses for your nieces and nephews go. I let you tell your story without me even having to discuss how you could identify people who you knew were in your family. And we, and, and, and we, and, and, and we gave you all kind of way. Now, now, if you want to join in on the frog shit, go ahead, man. These guys, these I, guys, I just said, but you don't got to be evil like them. Look at me, put her glasses on after she did cause all the mayhem. I did it. You did. You did. Oh, okay. wasn't froggy enough. <laughs> I said to hear plays brisket brisket. Yeah, but me not being okay. froggy enough for a family of frogs, I'm <laughs> successful. <laughs> why would, like, why they don't want me? Yeah, somebody should get this nigga a whippet. <laughs> You're very successful. Give him a whippet. No, 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 to hear it, because what you like to do is, you like to build on shit niggas didn't ask you for, you know what I'm saying? You type of nigga put a porch on a Prius. Yeah, get a little Prius got a porch on it. Anybody ask you to build on to that? That's funny. Nobody <laughs> asked you for that. That's funny. You need a whip it. See, now I'm back in the game. Because I, I was I was out here without a lifeboat. <laughs> you know what? CP, that's my bad. That's my no, bad. No, 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 you're right, no. You're right. You right. You opened right. your <laughs> tiny teeth and decided <laughs> no. to throw in something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Because you've told me enough that I shouldn't be messing with you and I can't. You're still doing it. You're still doing it. 
You're, <laughs> you're still doing it. With your yeah, man. Halloween teeth. You got Listen, why, can't, why can't why can't we hop on the bandwagon? And <laughs> nice. Hop was good. Hop was good. I, I, I'm sorry. That, that was my fault. I'll start you off a little sorry. better. Cat teeth. Shut up, cat teeth. How about that? <laughs> How about, how about that? No, that's, well, it's the <laughs> oh, same as the kid getting disowned by his uh, Everything Bagel family. They were like, that's way too many freckles for that, us. That, 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 way that, too many. That, that, come on, man. Let that one die. Would you finally let that one croak already? <laughs> oh, I tried, man. CP. I tried to pivot. I tried. No, nah, Tahir just likes that laughing with equal parts of gum and teeth. Like, 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 you're so, you're so <laughs> equal part of it's crazy. Equal how do you part <laughs> How do you eat steaks? Like, what do you do? Can y'all put, uh, put my steak in the blender, please? Or can I get it very thin? <laughs> what you drinking, a milk steak? Oh. Milk steak. That was a, a good one, bro. I heard milk steak. That was good. Milk yeah, steak. Yeah, yeah. Attack him. Attack him to hear like that. <laughs> <laughs> Attack him. Ooh. I want him attacked. Oh, my oh. God. Like, no, I would, I would, even if it was a family of frogs, I would, I would, I would enjoy, I would enjoy learning something new about myself. That, that'd be dope. I don't know. I think secret family might be a little worse. Uh, I think secret family is worse because what if it's like, <laughs> like what if the it's one because see Brody's situation is different now he knows his family but what if it's a situation where like they can never know about you and you can never contact them like the world would explode if you did you know what I'm saying like that's even worse yeah. well because then what, what if it's a situation well now you gotta like now they know your mama's a hoe <laughs> why well, I gotta be on your mama's Brody. side not yeah, saying that's your story bro I was talking with you I'm hoe. saying if no, what I, if that I, is I a situation you, I you. why you can't tell anybody because then the, everybody be like your mom's a hoe so now you just have to live in this secret family for the rest of your life well the thing is both of, in both situations your family lied to you but at least i think uh the adoption one there's some love there you know they 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 at least it was to like protect you whereas like the secret family thing was like Kind of like, well, I huh? think there was love. I think there was love. I feel like like, like, like a lot of people were trying to be protected. It was a lot of love, a lot of protection. But I mean, you Brody, know, we're not talking is... about you. So don't... I'm taking offense. I'm taking I'm offense. Just saying, I'm just saying with adoption, it's like they took you I don't think it was any protection. I don't think it was no not, protection. There was no, no protection protect. used. There was no not. protection. No protection. <laughs> but the 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 secret family is some hiding, like some 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 dark secrets you know as opposed to adoption which is like they took you in at least you what's know what's the name of my special light skin dark, dark secrets um, but, <laughs> light skin <laughs> dark secrets i ain't gonna lie secret family man I, I used to have a dog named duke and duke used to jump the gate and i couldn't keep he was he was a pit and i couldn't keep this nigga in he could jump any gate and then like one summer i started seeing like a bunch of like duke style puppies <laughs> With like a different twinge of dog. What the fuck? Oh, people were just walking all these dukes. And I'm like, Duke, did you? And I could just see on his face, like, you've been running around here, secret family. <laughs> and I mean, it, you know. That's kind of crazy to notice here's on a dog thing. walk. Here's what I will say. Here's what I will say. And, and Meg, you're not going to want to hear this. This is, this is messed up. <laughs> As a man, if you had a bunch of kids everywhere, at least your legacy lives on when you die. Like, Wait, you, if they you, know about you, or like, you know, they don't know about you. The, the, the blood your is legacy blood. live on. They don't know you because the blood is the blood. You like, you're still represented in the world. You put a dent in this society. Not what are you representing the world? If nobody knows. Meg, yes. Even if it's a secret to you. Like you're still out here. If I had a secret son, it'd be like, oh dang, you know, I, you know, I didn't know I had a son, but damn, I got a son. Now it's like he's out here, right? If I had a secret, what kid, if he doesn't know because he's in a secret? He's the secret family. Right, but man, he can't change his blood. Okay, Another, but there's some other man raising him, so he thinks he's that man's legacy. I know it's fucked and up. And he carries that man's everything, how he acts, all this stuff. He carries all he has, except for his blood, not the eyes. 
You can't, I don't, you I don't think it's gonna be confusing. Died. It's like a white redheaded man raising <laughs> CP's secret son. You know, I think there's gonna be a lot of things <laughs> with big eyes. No, that's well, not the color has got some big eyes, but that's my boy. And the little boy can like. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of cool to get like a multiverse amount of you like you now, see now what, to hear on the other like hand, a russian you would look win. like a japanese version of you would look like an Af african version you know, swedish <laughs> yeah to see, hear, that, that many be surprised if that if that redhead gentleman said I'm, I'm your poppy you know i don't does your dad have red hair here nah both my parents <laughs> are of the of a darky hue I what you're adopted? Here. You say what? Here. To hear, are you adopted? No. You sure? You said oh, that. Oh, you oh, you didn't say that confidently. No. Because you hey. kind of look like Punky Brewster a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy dad, today. Now you like show. Chunky Brewster. <laughs> Meg, Meg, that was that was good. <laughs> It was a good. It was a good joke. It was the I delivery was chunky. so effort. He kind of looked like Chunky Brewster. Like, oh, <laughs> my dad was like Teddy's color, and my mom was like Pat's color. Oh, okay. You said Teddy's color. Mm -hmm. Why you bring Teddy into this? There's a lot of niggas <laughs> that color. I just thought of Teddy for reference. He was dark skin. Shout out to dark, Teddy. He was of a dark hue. Shout out to Teddy. Yeah. The teddy man. Mm -hmm. Who had freckles? Your mom had freckles. Great grandparents on my uh, grandma's side. On like you saw it in the picture. It skips that much. It can, yeah. Hmm. Freckles and the red hair. Because my grandmother didn't have either. One of my grandmothers had it. What if Tahir doesn't really have freckles, but like wakes up every morning and has like this freckle stencil that he does, just so uh, he has some paint? quirk. All right, Meg. Let's pack it up. I think you're done. What for if, the day. What if, what if, what if, what if that's if? a bunch of bed bug bites? And you just you just been thinking your whole life like yeah, just lucky to be freckled. You know. All right, y'all ready to bring it to a vote? Because these are just missing. They feast terribly. every night. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. You, you, you look like it's so funny. Who, wait to hear when they do serious question though. When they do mm. make it for you, like when you're on set, do they do do nah, they do it? My freckles, no. Nah. Okay, I'm about to say, I was like, I'll be mad. Don't cover my head. No, no, no. A lot of times they book me for it. They'll book me for a look. They want somebody with a different look. And no, nah, they would never do that. The only thing they cover up are my tattoos. I think it's you just funny imagine, to see freckle type on How the do they go street, around you know, them? Do they have to like type. zoom in? And like, just do they, do they zoom in on you? And just like, like, make up <laughs> around the freckles, but leave the freckles? Like, what are they doing? How do they do you? <laughs> they would do it before I feel. What are you talking? Are about? there any killers with freckles? Are there any like, like, like niggas that just sure like a like, like a slasher? Yeah, there's no. Have you ever been brought in for questioning and then put into a lineup and be like, say the line, <laughs> be like, give me the hot dog, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the hot dog, bitch. <laughs> I did a uh, Toby Lou video, music video one time with him, and he had all light skinned, freckled, red haired guys. Oh, well, people, period. All, all of his. Oh my all God. Of them. Did all get each other's numbers? Was there a freckle orgy? Did y'all do something with that? Like, nigga, did you get everybody's numbers? A freckle orgy? A freckle orgy? <laughs> did y'all do like, something with that? Did I have a orgy? <laughs> that shit would look like a fight in cartoons with just the smoke and the, the limbs coming out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that shit would look like uh, the paper the at the range after somebody then shot it up. Just a bunch of fucking dots. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> what y'all going with? Y'all going with secret family or finding out you're adopted? Adopted. Adopted. Take adopted. Me to the river bank and show me my family. <laughs> adopted. Adopted. That'd be impressive because I look like both my parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They really put some <laughs> <whole> effort into <laughs> it. Good man. Put into it. Yeah. Listen. Hold on. This one. It, no. But the sad part is they put one back. Like, nah. He's not gonna look like us when he's hey, sixteen. So hey, Pat, they, <laughs> hey, Pat. They probably held your brother up to you. Like, this one will work. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> like, they, like they had Target comparing candy. Like, hold on. This one. <laughs> All right, yeah, it'll I pass. Get, get it on that one. We're going to jump right into this next topic right after this. For the majority of us, second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. For instance, I took Spanish in high school and the struggle was real, especially Spanish too. 
uh, had to take that a few times <laughs> before I barely passed. And after taking those classes, I can probably remember two Spanish phrases, but now thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just have some free time. Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. For me, I chose Spanish again. I actually want to learn this time and remember more than two phrases. Babbel's 15 minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Babbel's expertly crafted lessons are built around real life. You learn how to have practical conversations about travel, relationships, business, and more. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel, the lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching methods have been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. I definitely need help with my accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash squad. That's right. That's Babbel dot com slash squad s q u a d d for up to fifty five percent off your subscription. Babble language for life. Second topic of the day: We have Would you rather sleep with someone who snores versus sleep Me. with someone with night terrors? Snores. Wait, what's it like? What when we say night terrors? Like how bad is this night terror? Three to five, three to five times a week, waking up screaming, screaming throughout the night. Give us so give us an annoying. example of a night terror, like a like a real night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My granddad used to have night terrors. He was he was a boxer back in the day. That nigga used to wake up, be like, motherfucker. He'd be like swinging and shit. We'd be like, yo, I swear to God. Oh, wow. damn. So that could be that could be dangerous, low key. Right. Yeah, it could be. He socked the shit out of his girlfriend in uh Niagara Falls one time. Oh, <laughs> she called us like <laughs> I don't, it wasn't funny well, to What, a, you said what a great Falls. location to get to get knocked down though, right? Punch the shit. Oh my god. Niagara Falls. He said, I don't know how long I can do this. We was like, bitch, shut up. You signed up to date Papa. <laughs> to date Papa. <laughs> you signed up to date Papa, bitch. You know what it is. He swings uh, in his sleep. What, what was her name? Susie. Yeah. Mm. Susie got to learn how to duck in her sleep. Yeah. But on the <laughs> flip side, I mean, have y'all ever have y'all ever slept with somebody who snores terribly? What's terribly? Cause like suck the paint off the wall. It's so loud. Damn. Look at the hair. Look at the hair. All night he long. So loud. His, his freckles be moving. Every morning he <laughs> wake up with a new pattern. <laughs> they Every morning. Right. 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 You know, I'm <laughs> <popcorn laughs> be moving before it pop. I just be moving around. <laughs> Looking like them balls in the five gum commercials. That yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what it feels like to chew five gum. <laughs> <laughs> <Yo! laughs> uh, I know Farron got to wear two pairs of Beats by Dre's at night. This is good. Red. The worst. I put the earbuds in, and I put the over the ears in. No, she, she put the peels. She put the bees by Dre peels. She put two peels. Uh, uh. <laughs> man, it's nah, the worst. It, it, my man not, has he's not he, as he bad. But, uh, not, now that I have my CPAP, I, you don't. I don't snore now that I got CPAP. But the CPAP. Makes a fucking hemi sound like it like, does not. What, bro, what my dad got a CPAP. CPAP bro, that bitch be like, no, it doesn't. No, <laughs> my shit silent. is silent. The only time it would get loud, like so, CPAP t stands for uh, constant, constant positive air pressure. So the only time it might get a little like you'll hear it is when the pressure builds up. So when you stop breathing, it pushes more air pressure towards your, your mouth so you'll do that and wake up on your own without you snoring. So if you don't do that for a while, it'll increase the pressure, increase the pressure, increase the pressure. That's the only time you may hear when the air pressure goes up. But other than that, it's silent as hell, bro. Nah, y'all be in there looking like a damn fighter pilot in your sleep. 
We look like we look like yeah. everybody on Ready Player One. We got the shit. Hey, you know, it's like how Boba Fett be going to sleep. Huh? <laughs> how Boba Fett be going to sleep in the little box the tank. <laughs> it's not it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it is it is annoying traveling with it. That's the only thing I hate about that CPAP. They be coming out with new ones like that are quieter and stuff. They got a smaller one that's like for travel, and it's literally like the size of. Uh, like like a little bowl speaker, like it's it's about this big. It's way smaller. You know, you take the mask with you, and shit, it's it's damn near the same size as that adapter that you got plugged in the wall to power. Like a little CPAP Slim. What 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 um do you use like CPAP? Do you like do you use a whole mask to hear? I I'll use a full face mask because if my nose is ever stopped up. I need to still be able to breathe through my mouth. They have one for the nose, one for the mouth, or the full face. It covers both the nose and the mouth. Okay. I but the crazy shit about, about it is, like, most people that snore can't get a CPAP unless they do a sleep study. You can't just go to a place that sells them and buy it. You have to get a prescription right. from a doctor to be able to buy this machine that can save to your breathe? life. breathe? That's crazy. Yeah. You know what I never heard? I never heard a homeless person snore, which made me believe that snoring is a luxury. Have you ever slept I, with a homeless person? <laughs> no. Let's talk about you that. Still, you still <laughs> think, you ever be walking down the street and be like, damn, I ain't even see you sleeping right there. Silent as hell. They never snore. I, I think, yeah, because I think a bus is going by. You can't hear. <laughs> I think that an animal would kill them if they were outside snoring. Snoring outside is like, that's, that's, that's pretty fucking arrogant. Like it's like coyotes and shit. You think you gonna just snore a mountain lion? Be like, look, 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 look at the motherfucker right here. I'm gonna fuck him up. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that is true. Do animals like that dog are asleep snore. outside? I know, I know. Dog snore. I definitely heard our dog dog snore. Dog yeah, snore yeah. because they have a family. If they was living in the wild, nigga, they would be like. I mean, I'm I'm sure bears and shit snore because what what the hell somebody gonna do? You know, right. like big ass right. animals like that. But that is hilarious. Like if a if a cricket snored and then it got gave up his position, <laughs> and a fucking owl came and killed it. <laughs> but y'all, I don't think y'all have ever because y'all are men. Usually, men are the ones who snore a lot and really. Yeah. It's not you. Yeah. 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 Are you kidding me? Like snores, my G. Is, wait, is it just like yours? To hear because I guarantee nah, it's not it a ain't like mine, but it, that's it what I'm saying. That. When she's tired, when like she's exhausted or she's sick, oh, she big snore city. I've, I've okay, gone that's what I'm saying. But think about that. it like you, like you said, only when she's tired, only when she's sick, right? She's still imagine snoring. your level of snoring every single night from the beginning of the night until the end, until the morning. Like I that is I, even when I don't have a CPAP on, I'm not doing it the whole night, man. It gets louder. I don't know. You heard yourself. Shut up, Meg. You don't know. You have Shut the timer thingy, right? Don't you have like the the thing to watch that times it? Or I don't, have, I don't have my Apple Watch anymore. Yeah, I lost didn't, that shit a couple years didn't back. Didn't the years of vibration make that side tooth give up? I think it wasn't <laughs> it, like did, did 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 you get a little letter? The side tooth was like, you know what? Fuck this. Snored it out. Dear John, <laughs> side tooth out of here. Nigga broke the lease. <laughs> 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 this shit's oh, too much. Man. Hey, man. That, that is fraud and ridiculous. You wake up and your side teeth are in Farron's mouth. Like, fuck you. We, <laughs> we have decided. <laughs> Not me with the Farron's mouth. Uh, fuck to hear. I got these little bitty ass teeth in my mouth. <laughs> 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 they just hid behind her regular teeth. They're just like, oh, uh, I'm just gonna be right here. <laughs> they told your wisdom tooth, if y'all were really wise, y'all would leave like us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you stupid. Yeah, yeah, Somebody yeah. still mad about that little frog joke, boy. <laughs> still angry. Still <laughs> angry. A little, a little hurt. Just calm down, right, Michigan Jay Frog. Ain't nobody even tripping off of you no more. Oh, Jesus. and I'm from Michigan. Fuck that's you. The, that's that's the ironic part, yo. That's <laughs> oh, the right that he's actually from Michigan. The frog's name I'm is Michigan, Michigan Jay Frog. Oh my gosh, you are from a family of frogs. What's your middle name, CP? Jay. <laughs> that's not how families work. <laughs> my middle, right? <laughs> and they said, "Wait a minute, what's your middle name?" <laughs>
Nah, hey, but real talk, my middle name do start with a J, though. Ain't that some shit? I'm from Michigan. <laughs> my middle name start with a J. This is crazy. We are, well, hello, we are my baby. Hello, case. my. We are cracking the case. <laughs> We are cracking the someone cake. was named after someone. I'm not saying who. I'm just saying... <laughs> That's a funny, like, bad detective moment. Like, hang on, what's their middle names? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Batman versus Superman. What's your mom's name? Martha. <laughs> that was the most ridiculous thing in movie cinema ever. Yeah, that shit sucked because that movie was actually pretty good. Mm. Anyway. That point, I feel like they just ran out of ideas at the end. They was just like, <laughs> what if we connect them through their moms? You had a plot point. That's a major plot point, <laughs> but it was your moms had the same name. Come on, man. First name, too. That's the funny part. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Beating each other's ass. Face. What's your mom's name? All right, I'll stop now because your mom's name is Martha. <laughs> you do so much <laughs> dumb shit, though. Like, isn't the Joker supposed to be Batman's brother too in some universe? I hope so. That makes too much sense. That'd be perfect. No, no, no. There's no, a I universe where it, it's his mom. Y'all never saw that. If you watch the Joker movie, it turns out that him and Bruce somehow have some kind of connection where they got the same dad or some shit like that. I don't remember that. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It was something like that. And it's like what the, like the fuck? brother thing. Yeah, bro. like the uh, yeah the commissioner or what's the name? The, the dad messed around with some some chick had the Joker. Yeah. 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 DC Ooh. is just like uh, uh, or they, <laughs> like they still right. <laughs> follow me. No, you can just you know, keep like, adding shit. On. Yes, <laughs> that like, takes it back. That that leads right back to the secret family, yo. <laughs> and that's why Joker's mad because his family never got that love that Bruce did. <laughs> Always feel That's what he said. That literally was a thing. Yeah, Bruce is Bruce got a butler and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Joker got a crazy baby mama with no baby. He's got fucking uh <laughs> Harley. <laughs> shit. And, and then my joint is Brody no the Joker. Baby. Oh shit. <clears throat> the Joker. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Got what some, we, doing? we got some connections. We got some connections. To hear his side teeth are in Farron's mouth, we know that. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. The middle names are the same. <laughs> because of the middle name, is that's the same. But no, I think, uh, yeah, give me somebody who snores over the night terror. Yeah, mm. wildin'. Night terror is crazy. Listen, but the thing about a night going... terror, it doesn't happen every single breath. Read it. Three to five, three to five days out of the week, though, man. Yeah, that's true. That's Snow what I'm saying. I will, ta I will take listen. the night terrors any day of the week over consistent snoring. Snoring every is night. annoying, but it's not Forever. going to. Like, if you, like he said, if you got headphones on or if it's corrective, able to be corrected, they can put on the CPAP or something like that. That's not nearly as bad as being. You didn't say it was able to be corrected. Sleep. You say what, Meg? That's okay because it's only a moment, and then we go back to sleep. I go back to sleep. You, night terrors ain't just one. One to hear. If Farron sounded like a warthog, like you do when you snore, do you honestly think she would pick snoring over night terrors? No, Man, you're not a funny. You just. Get That's what I'm saying. None of y'all understand because y'all are men. Men like are usually the one that snores so ridiculous. <laughs> You just get uh, mean and hateful when you run out of funny steam. You just be like, to hear Farron slap like a fat, freckled warthog with high blood pressure like you. Do you think? You, Whenever not, Meg put them goddamn customer service glasses on, she automatically hey. turns into something else. Be, just answer the question. I'll tell you right now. Service. You got to agree with you. Just answer your question. Shit. Shut up, to hear. That's why those trophies in the back you got from barrel throwing. That's those. I'm not even at home, Meg. I'm I'm in St. Louis. Those ain't even my. But that was actually where are you? that barrel barrel throwing was funny as fuck. I'm sorry, that was actually good. I'm sorry, I got to give you that. One. That's a nice little St. Louis corner. Corner. <laughs> Wait, who's the house in this? St. Louis. That's uh, getting away from the cops the first time. Uh, is that right? <laughs> Most bullets fired in a public. Uh, place. Most bullets fired. Uh, <laughs> Can you imagine getting away from the cops and then you get a trophy in the mail with a little certificate and say, "Good shit." We well, yeah, good shit. Like, uh, we can't prove it. We gotta say this is the hardest. This is the hardest uh, on foot chase. 
fucked us up with that little right you took. But no, I think um, <laughs> they should think, do that with sentencing. They be, if, yeah. if, if it was impressive, <laughs> if it was sentence? impressive, yeah. like all right, you get twenty years. But come on, man, that was kind of cool. Yeah, that was really dope, <laughs> when you when you that cops, boat, I gotta cops, say, cops low key, they be getting excited when they got car chases. Them motherfuckers be looking for action. So yeah, if a motherfucker took you movies, off dope shit over the bar us, they get yeah, yeah, their coffee, they like, are we out? <laughs> and they, they finish their donut, their coffee, and they just be out. <laughs> they get so excited. They just add a little spice to their day. You ever bought a gun and be like, man, I wish somebody would fuck with me today. <laughs> you just you just hold it at the house all day. You know, I wish a motherfucker huh? is, is in no danger. Uh, <laughs> that's what you told me. Man, I, I hope a, I wish a nigga would. Yeah, door, please be. Open. What y'all going with? What y'all picking? Which one was this? Snoring. Snoring. Oh, snoring. 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 I just looked nice up homicidal scare. sleepwalking. People kill people in their sleep. So, mm. all right, I'm gonna snore too. Snoring. snoring has it on that one. We're gonna be back with our last topic right after this. That's right. It's summertime, and you might be looking for some wholesome and convenient meals for the sunny, active days. Factor is what you need. America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit can help you fuel up fast with flavorful and nutritious ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save so much time, you'll eat better, and stay on track to reaching those goals that you set to get that summer bod. Too busy with summer plans to cook, but you wanna make sure you're eating well? Well, the factor, skip the trip to that grocery store, all right? And you get to skip all the chopping and food prepping you gotta do, and the cleanup. That means no dishes, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality that you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat those bad boys up and enjoy. Then take yourself back outside and hit that warm weather. If you're looking for something that's calorie conscious, they have the options for you too. Try delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. Need an extra boost to support your wellness goals this summer? Try the Protein Plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. Elevate eating at home with our new upscale surf and turf like roasted garlic filet mignon and Cajun spiced shrimp and salmon. We offer delicious flavor pack options on the menu each week to fit a variety of lifestyles from keto to calorie smart to vegan plus veggie and protein plus. Prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians, each meal has all the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day long while meeting your goals. And if you're looking to switch it up, you can add a protein to select vegan plus veggie meals each week. Choose from over 34 chef-prepared, dietitian-approved weekly options, featuring premium ingredients such as broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. Plus, you can round out your meal and replenish your snack supply with an assortment of 45-plus add-ons, including breakfast items like our delicious apple cinnamon pancakes, bacon and cheddar egg bites, and potato, bacon, and egg breakfast skillet. Or for an easy wellness boost, try refreshing beverage options like cold pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. Looking to pack in more protein? Conveniently add on filling options like a salmon filet or chicken wings to your factor meals to support your nutritional goals any time of the day. Do you want to budget this month by cutting back on takeout? Get factor instead. Not only is factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery. That's two minutes. They're ready in just two minutes. With Factor, you can rest assured you're making a sustainable choice. We offset 100% of our delivery emissions to your door, source 100% renewable electricity for our product sites and offices, and feature sustainable source seafood in our meals. This June, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door. Ready in just two minutes, no prep, no mess. So head to factormeals.com slash squad50 and use the code squad50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code squad50, S-Q-U-A-D-D-5-0 at factormeals.com slash squad50 to get 50% off your first box. Last topic of the day, we have, would you rather have a personal droid versus having a clone? Now, this personal, personal droid what? is like a droid, like a like a 
like like, like the Tesla droid that they're talking about, like I robot somewhat, right? Uh, but the clone is literally a clone of you. Thinks like you, moves like you, you know, all of that type of stuff. Absolutely so. not. Can't have that. <laughs> if he thinks like me, the first thing he's gonna think is how to get rid of me. So <laughs> I well, feel there's like that, there's that built-in feature that won't allow him to do that. Okay, the wizard made, made and he can't that. override it ever. No, but having right? a, a droid okay. is way cooler because then it's like a little sidekick as opposed to another you who can do something and then you get in trouble or he does something cool and you didn't get to experience it. Like, yeah. damn, how you do that? <laughs> oh, wait, when you say clone, it's a human or it's a clone, like, but it's still like a droid. Like cyborg? No, the clone wait is a human. Minute, man, why would it be a clone of you and not be human? No, I'm saying because you can make a clone that's like a like an AI, but it's like synthetic. It's like it looks like you, it moves like you, acts like you. So I was asking if it was that as opposed to like an actual human clone of no, you. No, it's a clone of of I, I just like you when I when I when I told like uh, a human. Pat. Yeah, like it bleeds. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm, I don't know. There's a lot of places that I don't necessarily want to go. I would love to send my clone in my place but then you look on the gram and your clone having a good ass time and now you're gonna be a little jealous like fuck i should have went to the damn <laughs> nah, but even worse what if your clone is just doing like thought what if your what if your clone has only fans mick but what i thought i thought he said that your clone does like what you would do i wouldn't well, have no, so the clone, I, I saw, right, like this, i said so man what this is you, when I came inside, with this man, you probably would, but you probably wouldn't because of how society tells you it's wrong. But if society was cool, no, my only fans would consist of like Bible study or something. Oh, so man. it probably yeah. would make a lot of Bible money. Study. A lot of people trying so, to turn your ass to Bible page study. one. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> let's turn our asses to Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> what I was thinking of is like the difference between telling a droid, "I'm hungry." Right, fix me something to eat. And with that droid, if you say um, I want something Italian, they're going to list off a number of things, and you got to pick through that. But if this person is a clone of you, they know what you like. You'd be like, I'm hungry. Can you fix me something to eat? Kind of feeling Italian. They're going to just kind of know what you're feeling based off of just them being a clone of you. So they're going to more than likely just pick whatever you really want to eat without you having to go back and forth and ask a lot of questions. Well, then what if they ask you to get animals. them something to eat? You say, what? <laughs> <laughs> what if he's like, he's like, well, actually, yeah, that does sound good. You make me one. Yeah, so here, you're telling me your, your clone oh. wouldn't tell you to make you? you I feel like Tahir's like, clone would tell him turn. to shut the hell up. Here's my fear. <laughs> Here's my fear, though. What if somebody kidnaps your clone and makes your clone tell them everything about you and how to... <clears throat> That's all my teeth get straight and all of the teeth come together and then it explodes. <laughs> that's that's what this is. This is a fail safe. Me missing that tooth right there. That's your that's cyanide not, pill not, back there? Yeah. That's, that's not what I asked you. That's, not what that's I asked what I said the clone. That will be the clone's <laughs> self-destruct thing. So what if what if what if you was got into an argument with Farron and you didn't want to tell her the truth about something. And then she's like, all right, cool. And then she locked herself in the room with your clone. Your clone be like, to here, to here. She's like, shut up, to here. Look at me. She be like, to here, to here. <laughs> when the missing tooth is, the peel comes down. He chews that. He's out of there. <laughs> that is true because the, the droid gives you all the service without knowing everything. But the right. clone kind of automatically knows everything. And, and then here's the other point. You remember to hear your example, how you was like, okay, you ask your clone. They already know what you like. But the That's other part true, of it though. is the clone is you, meaning they can only make the stuff you can make. No, just because you a clone doesn't mean you have the same brain. It doesn't mean that you you know yes, all the same Yes, they're the same, the same as you. They're exactly No, you same would have had you. to go through every single experience the same. A clone just means they have the genetic the genetic structure is the same. A clone doesn't mean you have the same personality. It's damn near uh, like no, a clone. Exactly that sounds like a twin. That sounds more like a twin. Than it, a that's what, that's they essentially do. what a clone is. A yeah. clone is more I of think, a twin. I think in, this, in this scenario, this is what I was thinking of. We're basing, I, in my mind, we were basing it off of someone that basically knows everything you want versus something that would do everything you ask it to do. Now, the clone, if you need to be at two places of one, it's perfect for that type of thing. But it can't, it can't like go outside and build you a shed in the amount of time that a droid could. Because a droid is going to be stronger, it's going to be more, more efficient, more effective in doing, you know, those type of activities. But the clone would be 
you know, more helpful in situations where you got to multitask and you have to be the person to do it because this clone is a replica of you. So it knows everything that you know from that point, from whenever you got it made to, to then, it knows everything right. that you know. So that's more so what I'm talking about. We would get in arguments. I need the droid. <laughs> I feel like you, you imagine getting sick of yourself because you guys just <laughs> bump heads at every, at every, at, at, like yeah, it's, that's it's a tough collaboration. Man. Dog, can you imagine, you imagine getting sashed by yourself? You on wearing today, it has on those shoes. Or you know, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he Take steals those every idea. <laughs> every idea. Wait, what if he? Jokes? What if your clone dropped your special first? <laughs> and, oh. and it was him doing it, but it was the same jokes. Like you still get the credit though, but he. It, would you? Would that? You do it like you're right, right? Can you imagine what if your what if your clone used the last little piece of soap that you had? <laughs> and, you, and you about to get in the shower, your clone walk by, you're like, yeah, I got in the shower. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I see way more problems. Be like, wait, clone? <laughs> clone? Are you wearing my cologne, clone? It's like, yeah, I'll figure out. <laughs> cologne. <spray on. laughs> Duh. You wake up and your clone is gone with your car? Because wait, it thinks it's you? But what if you got, got booked to do? Why would my clone be gone unless I ask him to leave and go somewhere? Sometimes I just want to leave and go places. I don't. I don't always got somewhere to go all the time. What if? What if you got an early call time? Had sex with your wife, CP. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, and it, and it did it better. <laughs> now I have a dead wife and a dead clone. It's <laughs> 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 like. <laughs> it's like, dog, what am I supposed to do? I'm would y'all tell out. people that you have a clone, though, or would you let it be your secret? It got to be a secret. Why? I would tell people. Well, no. then what exactly would you do, like, multitasking if it's not, if you have to hide it? Doubles tennis? <laughs> I mean, you look like a you look like a Wii team. <laughs> Hold on though, little stuff like little stuff like going to the DM, going to the DMV. You can send your phone to the DMV and it'll get a picture of a license. It it can stand in line all day. That's cool. But your clone right. still needs to eat. Like, it requires way too much. Like, I'm going with a droid because it just, the maintenance, I mean, obviously, the, it might just need an a iOS update every now and then, every, you know, every September. But, like, the clone, you need, it's it's your, it's it's like someone that needs sustenance. It needs. Bro, hold on. Can you oh, imagine, that's true. He has to eat. Can you imagine running a two-man mission with you? And, and so you on the phone and the bitch is like, so what he look like? Like, bitch, he's me. It's two of me. We're on the way. <laughs> is your girl there? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> uh, bam, it's two men. She already likes him because it's me. Hey, that would be dope if you staggered your sleep schedules. So it did a whole bunch of shit at night. So you were just always out doing shit. But then that's dangerous because what if he gets arrested? <laughs> you get a call from Imagine the police. If you said what? You said what? Arrested and you go bail him out, that's going to freak them out. You just I know, like, but that's, that's also going to be on your record. <laughs> what he did. Because y'all technically the same person. Right, he don't have his own socials. Yeah, he, he sounds like a, a, a terror. And you got to, like Brody says, you got to feed him. And he got human responsibilities. It's I way wanna... too much, man. Like you said, the last bit of soap, the last bit of toilet paper, that goes for everything in the house. Nah, I want my droid to be. You can unplug him and, and uh, you can put him in the charger. I forgot about your clone <laughs> farting. <laughs> That's crazy to get like annoyed with yourself for normal stuff. Couldn't do Ooh. it. Oh my gosh! And then to hear yours machine. has a CPAP machine too. So what if his part messed up? <laughs> he take the part off your CPAP machine. <laughs> Double pap. <laughs> And he'd be like, no, this splitter. is mine. They have a you'd splitter. Like, oh, it just comes two tubes out of one. A splitter? <laughs> a splitter it just goes to both of their mouths. <laughs> they both in hey, there. scooch closer. <laughs> hey, I have I, I have 2020 vision, too. Imagine my scooch. My clone, my clone is in the passenger seat, and we just never miss nothing. <laughs> you got to have full iguana 360. Yeah. Vision. Like, there it is. Pull it right there. What? I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. I, I, it's you a know chameleon, what? Pat. I, I, don't, I don't like how niggas cracking up, but it's cool. Niggas cracking up on that one. <laughs> you did Brody, that had, Brody had to lean forward. 
<laughs> and you could never sneak up on CP. If y'all, you and your clone stand back to back, y'all for real got three sixty. I mean, well, anybody, that would be anybody. But yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah, I guess, I guess you, that's how they do them just, Google cars. Just the Google it all Earth, on you know, me. That's how they get the mat. The mat man, the Earth in the little car. <laughs> Oh shit! Good job. I man. would take my clone sightseeing, and we would see everything. <laughs> <laughs> so what? You what saw one viewpoint, like what y'all going with? I've what, seen enough. The <laughs> Give me the Android, man. Droid. I ain't, finna, I, ain't, I ain't finna get double roasted, man. I, I can't do it. Give me <laughs> Android. We we thought of every bad thing the clone could do. <laughs> nah, but that's the thing though. CP like two CPs on roast me. Oh, wow! <laughs> Nobody would get a word in. Jesus, Actually, I would love word. that CP you roasting yourself. I would roast. get so annoyed with him, like bro, let me talk. Like, oh, he'd be like, let me talk. Be like, God damn, you know <laughs> CP and y'all step on each other and not even be double funny. <laughs> <laughs> That would be crazy. <laughs> I'm going with a droid as well. I need that droid. I think that'd be droid cool. sounds good. Yeah. Meg, what about you? Droid. Yeah, it is. D2 D2. It's unanimous with the droid volt. Uh, so the droid has it on that one. We want to thank Brandon Brody, our special guest, for stopping by today. Shout out to the OG squad. We got CP, Patrick Cloud, Meg School Course. I'm to hear more. And thank you guys at home for watching. Make sure you check us out next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus. Peace, guys.